guys welcome to um, working with white wax so this is video number two of the furniture videos um, I'm actually recording at my house tonight um, and if you want to see um, how I created this look on this table so far um, I actually did a live on it on my business page and um, I can post that in our art cafe Facebook group for you guys to check out if you want so um, I thought I would put some white wax in this. so let me get my supplies and let's get going Okay, so I have the DIY wax in clear, and then I have the white. And um, I am just putting a coat of the clear on this first. I just want the ability to be able to manipulate this um, a little bit more. And I'm just putting a really, really thin layer of the clear wax. And it's really see how it brings out that um, the pigments. I use the DIY paints in um, Old 57 Queen Bee and uh, Bohemian Blue. And so I'm just getting a little bit of the white wax. I'm getting the wax all over my fingers here. <laughs> a little bit of the white wax on my brush. I'm going to start really pressing that into and it looks like it really covers it up, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buff it back, and so then the white is just going to give it kind of a frostier look. So let me finish applying it on the rest of this front part. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my cloth and buff it back. So I just have a lint-free cloth here, and um, the buffing, it really doesn't take much. And what's happening is the white is staying in some of the grooves and crevices, giving a little bit of a frosty look, like I said, on top of the color. This is so pretty. You see where it's, I'm gonna bring it up real close. Kind of a shadow, there you go. You can see it really well there. It's a nice buffed shine, and the white is sticking in all of the crevices. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna finish um, waxing the whole piece. I love the base on this. It's um, twisty, which is really pretty. Um, I've got a combination. I still had some of the white wax on this brush, but I am putting some of the clear with it. Just again, I want the manipulation to be a little bit easier. When I take my buffing cloth now on this twisted part, I'm really looking um, forward to it kind of sticking inside of these grooves. I'm loving how the white wax is sticking inside of these grooves and crevices. You can still see all of those really awesome DIY colors sticking out too. The white is just really enhancing it. I especially love down here and here just in the tiny little grooves. It just gives it a little something extra. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm just gonna do the top, um, and I'm gonna raise you up, and I've already got an entire coat of the clear wax on there, so I'm just gonna kind of enhance the edges with the white wax. And so the white wax is like seeping into all of the crevices. You can still see, um, a lot of the color and then along the base and sides the white wax is sticking inside the crevices and then also on the little twisty part which is really cool so I will be sure to post a picture um, like I said don't be afraid to use colored waxes they're really easy um, it just takes a little manipulating and a little buffing and they dry really really hard and they dry to a nice shine too so okay this was quick and fun but it is so cute and um i will see you very soon bye